Hello, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted. Today I'm going to be going over a very basic ingredient setup for lotion bars. This recipe is broken down into kind of three separate ingredients. The, uh, the coconut oil, the hard butters, and the beeswax. And uh, I've seen this recipe done at uh, one, one, and one, basically eight ounces, eight ounces, and eight ounces. Uh, but I've noticed when I do the beeswax at eight ounces, the bars are a little stiff. So I like to take the beeswax down a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add about eight ounces of coconut oil. Uh, we're going to do eight combined ounces of the shea butter, the mango butter, and the cocoa butter. And however you mix that up is up to you. Uh, you could do seven ounces of mango butter and then one ounce of uh, shea butter and cocoa butter. Uh, just depending on how you like it, what I... Uh, it basically depends on what butters that you like to use and you can use any hard butters that you want to so if you don't like mango butter cocoa butter or shea butter you can substitute those with anything else as long as you have a combined ratio of eight ounces you're going to be just fine with that uh, the beeswax this is what's going to control either the stiffness or the softness of the lotion bar itself uh, the more beeswax you put in eight ounces uh, you're going to get a really s stiff bar. You're going to have to rub it on your skin a, a little bit more before it starts to melt away. And I've noticed anything under six ounces, it's going to be really soft. So as soon as you start picking it up, it's going to start to melt on you. Uh, for me, I've found right around six and a half ounces is perfect. Some people, it's going to be a little bit more. It depends on what you like and the consistency that you like. So just go ahead and play with that. Uh, but for me, six and a half ounces is absolutely perfect. Okay, for the lotion bars, you're gonna need a scale, a pouring pitcher, a spoon, beeswax, mango butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, and you're gonna need some type of a mold to pour these in. Now, you can do anything that you want. You can pour these into uh, a glass pan and then you can cut them out afterwards. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use. We're gonna go ahead and use a silicone rose mold. Now for a couple of these, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, mica powder, and this is skin safe mica powder. I'll include the links down below on where we got this. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a pink dusting across the top of these, just to give it a little bit more color when they come out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get this started off. I'm gonna add the coconut oil first, and I'm only doing a half batch on this one. I'll put the full uh, requirements on this one, uh, but since I'm only doing a half batch, I'm gonna cut this down to four ounces instead of the normal eight ounces that I that we usually do. So there's four ounces of coconut oil. Now for the combination of butters, I'm only gonna add one ounce of shea butter, and I'm gonna add a little bit more, actually almost two ounces of the mango butter, just because I like the way it feels better. My daughter is a fan of these as well. She's not here with me today. She took off with her friends to the mall. She'll be back for the next video. Okay, so we've got one ounce of shea butter. And for the cocoa butter, it's a good idea to get deodorized cocoa butter because um, cocoa butter is usually, it usually has a pretty strong chocolate scent to it. So if you want that chocolate scent, just go ahead and get regular cocoa butter. But if you want to get rid of that so that the fragrance of the fragrance oil comes out more in the bars, you can get deodorized uh, shea butter as well as cocoa butter. Okay, so there's two ounces of the cocoa butter. And we're going to go ahead and add two ounces of mango butter. I'm going to go ahead and zero this out. And for the beeswax, I normally add six and a half ounces, but since we're doing a half batch, I'm going to go ahead and add about 3.2 ounces. And for the vitamin E oil, we're going to go ahead and wait to add that until it's fully melted. So we're going to go ahead and take this over to the double broiler now. Okay, I went ahead and put the pouring pitcher inside the double broiler. This is a good way to melt your waxes and butters. Uh, it keeps everything uh, away from direct heat so you're not going to burn or scorch the oils and butters. Okay, while that is going, I'm going to go ahead and dust the inside of these a little bit. And it doesn't take a lot. And what I like to do is get a paintbrush and just kind of just kind of brush it on the inside of the silicone mold a little bit. Just in a couple spots so you get a a dusting of color. You can get pretty detailed with these too. Uh, if it's got individual petals, you can go ahead and paint those. Uh, you can make a lot of really intricate designs with some uh, mica powder. All right, I'm just gonna do a little bit in these just to kind of show what it looks like and what you can do. I'm not getting real fancy with this at all. 
and I'm going to leave one blank. This is going to make about four bars. So we'll have three that are a little dusted and then one just plain. Okay, the oils and butters have completely melted now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stir that and just let it cool down for a minute before we add the vitamin E and the fragrance oil. If you add the fragrance oil right when it comes off, you can burn a little bit more off uh, and lose a little bit of scent if you're not careful. So I let it cool down just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of vitamin E oil. Now vitamin E oil is very important to add to these. Uh, this is gonna help your oils. Uh, it's gonna prevent them from going rancid over time, so it's gonna preserve the life of your lotion bar a little bit longer. And I usually do just a couple dropperfuls and then stir that up so that it mixes in well. And then the fragrance oil, once this cools down enough, we're gonna go ahead and add some of this. Uh, now normally with the full batch, I add probably a little bit less than half an ounce. You don't need a lot in the lotion bars to make it smell. So for this one, I'm just gonna add probably 0.2 or 0.3 ounces. And we're using mango papaya on this one, which is a really nice scent, uh, very popular through the spring and summertime. And then once that's ready, now with these molds, we pick these up from Michael's. I pour these just about to the top. And the reason I pour them just to the top is the metal tins that these go in that we sell. Uh, this is actually the exact recipe that we sell on our website. I pour it just under that rim right there, otherwise it makes the lid push up a little bit more. And then any leftovers I just throw into a mold here. And that's it, we're going to go ahead and let those cool down a little bit. Alright, it's been about 40 minutes and these are probably pretty close to done, so we're going to go ahead and just pop these out. And then here's one of the colored ones. I didn't add a, too much to this one just to give it a little bit of a color. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post the links to these metal tins that we use for ours. You can pick these up really cheap at a few different places and I'll post the link down below. And they just pop right out. A little bit of excess there. Then that's it, once you're done, just start rubbing that on. And you can feel it as soon as you pull it out. The second you start to rub on it, it starts to melt a little bit. All right, and there you have it. Very quick and easy lotion bars. Uh, if I skipped anything, please let me know. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like me to go into more detail on, uh, leave a comment down below. I answer every single one of them. Uh, I have my email address, the website, and everything posted down below as well. So if you have any questions or if you have any videos that you'd like to see, Please send the suggestions our way. Mallory will be with me next time, and we'll go ahead and get on these. Uh, if the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe for more. Thank you.